months after Hurricane Michael made landfall in the Florida Panhandle, the recovery is far from complete. And for the folks there, getting the money to pay for it all is adding insult to injury. CBS 4's Ty Russell rode out Michael and went back to see firsthand how things look now. Feet away from the Gulf of Mexico and families relaxing on the sand. There's a path of destruction. This is in the Panhandle. It's where Category 5 Hurricane Michael made landfall back in October. Sustained winds reached 160 miles an hour. There were more than 50 storm-related deaths statewide. It rocked Mexico Beach, a town of 1,200 residents. Months later, about 400 of them are trying to stay and rebuild. Many have decided to sell and leave. We're just hanging out, and that's everybody here. It's been seven months. Jack Sebastian and his wife live in a FEMA travel trailer. What's next for you? Uh, that's, the, that's the difficult part because we're having problems with uh, contractors. For now, the high cost of construction is keeping Sebastian parked. He's on the same property where his three-story home once stood. I closed on the house on 10 August, and uh, on 10 October, the storm hit, so I owned the house for two months. As of late May, there was still no water or sewer for a stretch in Mexico Beach, and no gas station, grocery store, or sit-down restaurant. In a town known for its fishing and boat charters, the canal reopened at the end of April when the debris was removed. This could help with the flow of much needed money. To us, when, when we're trying to pay bills that rank in the millions, we, you know, we, don't, we have to be very careful what we pay. Because, and then we have to know that on the backside, that FEMA is truly going to get us back that money. Mayor Al Cathy also owns the only hardware store in Mexico Beach. He says the debris cleanup carried a $60 million price tag, 20 times the town's yearly budget. You got hit with a little hurricane called Michael. In May, President Trump spoke to supporters in heavily damaged Panama City, 20 miles away from Mexico Beach. And I'm pleased to announce that my administration will be allocating $448 million in HUD disaster recovery funds for the great people of Florida. With that, home and business owners in the Panhandle can use that federal grant money to help offset costs for repairs not covered by insurance. I'm doing the most allowed by law to support the people of Florida. But the grant money won't do everything that's needed. Following Michael, Democrats and Republicans have been at odds over a multi-billion dollar disaster relief bill for states impacted by hurricanes, wildfires, and other disasters. And why is there gridlock? President Trump doesn't want more money going to Puerto Rico to help recover from Hurricane Maria. And this fight in D.C. has left the panhandle struggling to recover faster. We have our challenges. Bay County Commission Chairman Philip Griffiths, who has moved homes six times since Michael, is frustrated over the numerous hoops and red tape to get federal help. However, he does appreciate what has been done so far. We're going to get through this. We'll be bigger, better, and stronger at the end of it. In May, FEMA announced it had spent nearly $700 million in emergency aid in Bay County since Michael. Most of the funds were given as low-interest loans to home and business owners. And where yeah. are you living now? In the 15-foot tin can trailer. <laughs> Chuck Sweat is trying to keep a smile on his face. He dipped into his savings to rebuild his home of more than 40 years in Panama City. But at times, it's tough to stay upbeat because 17 days before the storm, his wife died. That's right. It's not hard. Yeah. I, I don't like to talk about it. Okay. While healing and recovery continues for sweat, he's keeping mostly everything he owns in a tent in his backyard. It's a similar struggle for many neighbors who are working to rebuild. Because of it, they've also been able to build friendships. You know, a lot of times you don't even, you don't know your neighbors. And through all this, it's like, now we know each other and we know each other very well. And we know each other's kids now, so it's really cool. Bay County officials believe 15% of residents packed and left after the hurricane. That leaves about 182,000 people staying to rebuild. Many are living in FEMA trailer parks on a mix of public and private properties. It almost makes it hard for me to sometimes to be like, yeah, you know, and like, where are you at? And I'll be like at the county fairground, you know, because a lot of my friends, a lot of other people didn't get to, you know, 
for whatever reason, didn't get to get here. Oh, yeah. Lyman Wilson lives with his wife, and they have a combined seven children. They don't know what's next, but remain hopeful. I know help coming. I've been watching, I've been, you know, I've watched the news and been on the internet and stuff, and, and I know help is on the way. With another hurricane season underway, Sebastian in Mexico Beach is concerned. I've worked all my life. I, I, it was time for me to relax. But, it, and I want to rebuild it, not, but it seems like there's, there's no help. After talking to several people here in Bay County, I get the sense that they want to return to a normal life. The only issue is they don't know when or if that's even possible again, since more than seven months after Hurricane Michael, much of the area still looks like this. In Bay County, I'm Ty Russell, CBS4 News.